Now, what if I told you that some of the biggest opportunities in farming are actually nothing to do with farming? At least, not in the traditional sense, anyway. Farmland at its very core is just an asset, and it's up to you as the farmer to make the best use of that asset in whatever way you can. Unlike all farm businesses, or I think all businesses, we're always on the lookout to see where we can make a little bit of extra cash or sweat the assets a bit more and end up with a little bit more money in the back pocket at the end of every day. And whilst improving efficiencies, increasing productivity and scaling up existing operations are all good, one of the biggest opportunities came in the form of something completely different. And that was the situation that we found ourselves in in 2009, with the sale of the dairy here in the farm led to a big hole in the business and we needed a way to fill it. And that filler came in the form of two unknown entrepreneurs who, in a small jeep, travelled up this rather remote road to look at this rather uninteresting block of hill ground. Now, these guys knew absolutely nothing about sheep or about farming in general, but they could see the potential in this. Can you see it? In fact, you can't see it, but you can hear it and you can most certainly feel it. That's right, it's wind. Actually, there's bugger all wind today, that's going to look shit in the edit, isn't it? Now, wind power was still relatively new back in 2007 and we had absolutely no idea the implications that this would have. But the most important thing that we did back then was say yes. And that's a pretty good rule in life in general. When opportunities come along, say yes and hold on like your fucking life depends on it. Now, it would be a further nine years before construction started here on this wind farm and the developers had to overcome a huge number of hurdles before construction even started. The developers had to get planning permission, there was access issues, there was problems getting connection into the grid and of course dealing with all the objectors that nearly derailed the project on so many occasions. Construction finally started in 2016 and the wind farm became fully operational, exporting electricity in 2018. So what did this mean for the business and how much money does a wind turbine actually make for the landowner? Well, it's fair to say it changed everything. A wind turbine generates around £10,000 per year per megawatt installed and this comprises of varying portions, rent and electricity generated. I should add that all of these deals are negotiated separately so the actual amounts will vary but it should give you a baseline from which to work if you are looking into a wind farm for your land. It does of course depend on a whole load of other factors including the wind speed and the price of electricity which will cause prices to vary. And when I say it changed everything, I don't mean literally everything, but it did change a lot. Not only was an additional revenue stream coming into the business, but it also changed what we thought was possible in terms of what we could generate from the land. It changed the whole direction of the business to be more in line with the growing need to tackle climate change. But it also fundamentally changed our perception of what it means to be a farmer in this day and age. Not only do we have a duty to feed the nation, but we now also have a fundamental duty to tackle climate change and use whatever we have at our disposal to be able to do that. And you might be thinking, well, nah, that's all fine and well, Sandy, but how do you actually get a wind farm? on your land. Well, you're gonna to have to go and watch this video here.